Chris John Faulkner here at Survival Dispatch and today I'm joined by Rob here and uh, we are in Camden, Tennessee at Tactical Response for a bug out class that we're putting on here and uh, James brought out uh, his trailer. It's not done yet. We're just calling it the trailer for the, now. The trailer. Okay. Um, and uh, it's got a lot of cool equipment on it that some of you guys have probably never seen or really thought of and uh, we thought it was pretty interesting so we thought we'd have rob here who you did all the install pretty much on the i did all the electronics side. yeah you know, all the electronic stuff and that's really what we're going to focus on here and this is a this has been a working project yep for for quite a while now yep. with james and uh and james has been kind of living out of this and stuff for the last like four or five days he's been out here um but we wanted to kind of look at the the technical side of this and that's why i grabbed rob here to kind of walk us through um because a lot of you guys are thinking about, you know, maybe building a bug out vehicle or a trailer. And this has some some things on it that you've probably never really seen actually working. It's been conceptualized, I think, by a lot of people. Yep. Um, but with regards to the cameras and stuff, so we're going to kind of take a walk around sure. and just kind of talk about it. Now, we will say there are some things on here um, that are, like you said, for like presentation purposes. So you're going to see like some speakers on the outside. Uh, that's so they can give presentations, you know, with the trailer and talk about, you know, just prepping in general. So it's not really a prepping thing at that point, like we're going to get on a loud mic or something. Um, but let's go ahead and kind of walk through. So tell us, tell us kind of what you have with cameras set up here first. Sure. So the, there's four or four cameras that are dedicated and fixed uh, to positions around the trailer. It basically gives us uh, 360 awareness mm -hmm. of everything that's happening, you know, within <laughs> 25 to 50 yards of the trailer. Um, we also have two cameras that are located on top of a 30-foot mast. Um, those have a 24x optical yeah. zoom uh, and some pretty decent um, night capability as well. Uh, so we got two of those up there, and those are pan tilt zoom, so we can, you know, we have a. Pretty can you get 360 degree on those also? Yep, it, it's continuous 360, so it'll it'll keep going around. Um, and we've we've pushed our um, zoom limits here on the rifle range. We're we're able to to identify targets and identify people at, you know, around 375 to 400 yards. Yeah, and you can see here on the monitor, uh, this is this is about three, and we're on the rifle range uh, portion here at Tactical Response, if you've never been here. So the targets you're seeing, uh, they're about 300, 350 to 375 yards away. So you can kind of see, based on the clarity of the image that we're able to get out of these cameras. Now they have a little bit of shake to them just because they're on a 30 foot mast right now and it's been windy. Yeah, the, uh, the guy wires haven't been installed. It's, it's cold here and it's windy today. Uh, welcome. To, to Tennessee in December, um, you know, but let's kind of walk over here sure. and just kind of talk about you know, different functions and stuff that, that we have here on the screen, first of all. Yeah, so, so out here on the screen, uh, we've got a 55 inch display that's mounted onto that door. So it just turns sideways. We can shut the door and get on down the road. Um, we have the ability to display our camera system, a wireless presentation. We've got a hookup for a laptop or a phone or something like that that's in there as well. Uh, Blu-ray player um, and then I think that's it. Think, or yeah. sorry, there's an over-the-air antenna uh, that we can put on here as well. So if, if we want to monitor uh, local news channels, uh, national news channels, stuff like that, all of the uh, capability for that exists. Um, there's another couple of monitors inside of the trailer as well. They all have the same capabilities. We can put anything on any or on any display. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that, that, that pretty much does it for out here. The rest of the magic kind of happens on the yeah, inside. Yeah, I mean, let's take a, take a step in here and... All right, so we're in the trailer here now, and Rob's going to kind of walk us through what you have going on on the, I'm going to call it the control panel wall <laughs> here. Uh, so so kind of walk us around here. Yeah, so uh, I guess we can start with uh, the rest of the uh, AV system that we've got in here. Like I said, there's another couple of monitors, and we have the ability to, to send you know any one of these uh, inputs to any one of these displays. Uh, and like I said previously, we also have provisions to do things like uh, Blu-ray or wireless presentations or... Uh, you know things like that uh, on any of these on any of these displays. If we want to bring up the cameras, we can do that on both. Um, basically, just gives us a lot of flexibility in here. There's another set of speakers inside for a couple of different uh, HF, VHF, and UHF radios. So we got con. We can essentially talk around the world on this yeah. thing if we really want. So you to. got a Yesu mounted down here, I see. Yep. Uh, there's a, there's an FTDX 1200, uh, and then an, uh, I believe it's an FT8900 or something like that. I can't okay. remember the exact model on those, but um, that gets us 99 and a half percent of right. what we're really going to need. Um, there's a multiplexing video and audio system uh, down there. That's kind of the brain of the operation. Basically, just allows us to move stuff around. 
uh, some DC power or some 12 volt DC power supplies and then our camera system um, everything in here is network based so there actually is Wi-Fi on the trailer as well mm -hmm. uh, we can tie that in either via cellular or via satellite doesn't matter um, and that'll give us remote access to the trailer um, from anywhere in the world really um, along the left hand side is kind of our power distribution so we've got two separate uh, and com or independent uh, 3000 watt DC inverters uh, that's these two right here. They're fed from a bank of four uh, marine grade deep cycle batteries. We did a run test on it yesterday. We can run everything at full bore uh, on the inside with no generator or anything for about nine hours. Huh? Um, obviously, it get you know you get higher run time and things like that if you start peeling back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, different things. Um, the next test that we have is going to be running just the communications and camera equipment. Um, I'm optimistic that we're going to get about 20 hours of runtime out of that. Um, the now, is this also wired for solar? Yeah, so the, there's there's two or three different ways that we can we can garner power here. So we've got the 3,000 watt inverters. Uh, we also have the option to do a shoreline, and that's an automatic mm -hmm. transfer er, transfer over. So obviously, if we're running off of a shoreline, that's going to be our primary means of electricity. We, we currently are running off of a, of a propane generator at the moment, um, but we can switch over that. Uh, that inverter and go to battery uh, on there at, at any time. Uh, so like I said, there's two completely independent uh, 3000 watt uh, inverters here. Uh, one of them runs all of the audio video equipment. The other one is gonna run power points that are located around mm -hmm. uh, the entire perimeter of the trailer. So we have the ability to do things like run a microwave or a coffee maker or things that you know can be really important in a, in a long term yeah, type absolutely. of scenario. Um, the entire trailer also is wired um, so that the batteries charge off of a tow vehicle uh, if it's going down the road. Uh, and then there's also uh, a 24 volt uh, solar cell that's on the roof of the trailer as well. So we get power from uh, from direct sunlight. I think right now we're pulling about yeah. 13 volts with the, uh, with the minimal sun that yeah. we have left here. So all of that uh, um, is managed automatically. Uh, the batteries will combine or divide based on uh, what What's we have needed? for uh, what or, and that'll happen automatically based on what we have in here. Um, there's also a shoreline uh, charging station for the batteries, so that if they are fully depleted, we can hook up to a shoreline and recharge those rapidly via uh, a battery charger. And uh -huh. then if we're normally just parked, we'll have the, um, the NOCO Genius um, battery maintainer uh, in there as well. So we want to we want to try and remain at fully charged at absolutely. all times. Yeah, absolutely four or five different methods. And it's always it's always important too when you're talking about multiple cells keeping them balanced mm -hmm. as much as possible and that's really what the what the NOCO does is it makes sure that you know if, if one is a little bit drained a little bit more than the other three it sends a little bit more power to it to make sure that they all stay nice and even yeah. uh, definitely a cool piece to, to have in here and uh, you know and this is kind of set up and it's a work in progress still and it has been for a while I know that uh, yep you know it's this this it, it's it takes time you know um, but right now it's it's about trying to you know Rob's go job was to get all of the technology portion into this uh, so you can kind of see there's still some bare walls in here um, but I thought the camera system uh, the way that they've mounted everything with regards to the power supplies um, is just some things that I've kind of never seen before like the mast is like it's freaking awesome you know we <laughs> pulled in we pulled in here yesterday and I was like that, that's not a weather station you know uh, that's coming though that, that, that <laughs> so another. um you know so this is kind of about gathering information because that's the biggest thing that can help you in a survival situation is being able to know what's going on in the outside uh being able to reach out to people with regards to a ham radio or something like that so um you know just just a really cool uh start to an awesome project that they have going on here at tactical response and uh, is there anything else you want to go over on this no man i think that's uh, i think that's about it so yeah i mean we'll definitely be around you know when we get back up here if they've uh, gotten further along in the trailer process um, but that was just kind of a first look at the tactical response uh, trailer here and kind of showing you some of the things that they've put into it so I appreciate you watching this video make sure you hit the like button and until next time be safe